Hi there, I'm Jo Marshall, Head of Insight and Innovation at Thornton & Ross. Hi there, my name is Jenna Hines, I'm Insight and Innovation Manager at Thornton & Ross. So what is Insight? Well that's about us really understanding our consumers and trying to get to the heart of everything that they do. On the innovation side it's all about using our knowledge to really understand how we can enhance our consumers lives or solve a problem for them and if we can get that right then that leads to products that are really relevant for our consumers and also motivating for them which means that once they're on shelf they'll start to pick them up. We have a roster of agencies that we use depending on what, what the challenge is that we want to solve and then we will uh, have cross-functional workshop sessions where we get all the brains of the business together to really help us understand those consumers and really craft a concept which is how we articulate what the new product would be. And of course, alongside agencies, there's a whole host of internal people who really work together to bring the from the idea, the concept, to bring it to life to an actual product that we can sell on the supermarket or the pharmacy shelves. So the breadth of agencies that we work with is really varied. We work with agencies that look at our positioning of our brands to really help us um, create the strongest positioning within our portfolio so that each brand has its own positioning and, and we can really kind of tackle the, the right consumer for the right person with the right brand. And we're working with data agencies. The, the, the list is, is absolutely varied. It's, it's, it's everything that you can think of beginning is where we really start to gather our insights about the different uh, consumer needs and where we can actually see where the opportunities are. Once we've really managed to work up some ideas, we then often go on to test them to see whether they resonate with consumers and we create what's called a concept, which is really our statement of intent for the product. We want to know, do consumers get it? Do they think it's something that they would buy? Once we know that it's a great idea, that's when it really is all systems go. And it really depends how complex the project is. So it can be as little as six months if we've got a product formulation that we can adapt, or it can take up to two to three years, depending on the complexity and the regulations that we have to go through. So we try to be as agile as possible, but at the same time, we want to ensure that we're doing our due diligence. And that's when my project management team really take over, because it's then their responsibility to actually make sure that product launches in the way that we uh, intend it at the time that we need it to fit with our retailers. I'm absolutely passionate about our consumers uh, and how we can help them and, and that really is fundamental. If we can really understand them then it makes such a difference. So I really try and champion the consumer through everything I do. I think that I enjoy working as part of a team. I think the ideas together build to make a better outcome. So listening to your team members, sparking off their ideas, building on them, testing the thoughts that other people have, hopefully they will test my thoughts and working together we can get a better output that as a business we are collaborative in our approach to bring products that really represent the needs of our consumers. We're increasingly in a globalised world where there are global retailers such as Amazon where consumers can find products that if they meet their needs better than the ones that are on the UK shelves, um, consumers will go to Amazon and buy those, buy those products if they're going to meet their needs in a much better way. They're able to be much more agile, come with new uh, subscription models that we've seen, uh, innovative products and of course they can move much faster than a, a traditional FMCG company. Uh, I think it, it's going to be hard for some of the traditional companies to keep up but from a consumer point of view, I really think it's going to revolutionise things for them. So I think we have to open up our, our vision as to what is our competitive set and really assess in a global marketplace how can we be better, how can our products be better, how can we be the best at meeting our consumers' needs. Mm -hmm.